Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I am going to be showing you how to get higher stats on your armor. Now, if you don't know what I mean by this, basically your stats are the total at the bottom. And if you go and inspect your armor, it's basically the total down here. The sum of all stats provided by this gear. Now, there's a lot of ways to increase this. Now, I'm going to try and make this guide short because a lot of people make this type of video and take a long time going to try and explain it in five minutes and show you the best ways to actually get better armor now for me i'm not really bothered about the stats as you can tell because my stats are really low they're in the 50s and i haven't even mastered with my armor however the point i'm making is it depends on what you're going for if you're running a raid or something then you may want to actually use it but for me I'd rather have how the armor looks and for me this is definitely the best looking armor for the hunter so that is why I use this if any of you was wondering however as you can tell some gear that I do have like these dream bane grips actually do have better total stats and I'm going to show you how you can actually obtain these stats and make them a lot better so if we put these on as you can tell it does have a total of 64 now you can even increase this if you didn't know guys with a mod so if you were to put any of these strength intellect mobility recovery resilience it all depends on what you use and what your build is if you want a video on the best hunter build i've made two in the past so check them out i'll leave them on the end screen but if you just put one of these on as you can tell our mobility has gone up quite a lot and as you can tell the total is 74 now so it is a really good way to improve your total strength for armor pieces so that's gone up 10 as you can tell to 74 so if you do that for every single piece of armor you do have then you are going to be onto a winner and actually making a good progress in getting better stats now if you want to know what the stats actually do basically they go up in terms of 10 so what i mean by this if you have 10 mobility on your armor piece you'll be granted tier one now tier one as you can tell for mobility we are on 84 so we're on mobility tier 8 that's basically how it works and as you can tell it basically just increases whatever it says so for this one mobility reduces the cooldown of your class ability resilience increases the amount of damage you can take before dying now I've gone through a build in the past like I said so check that out if you haven't already. Now that is going to be the best way to increase your armour. However if you haven't got say like 65 armour plus without mods. So you are looking for 65 total without mods like this dream being grips here. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. How to farm the best armour you can possibly get. Now... If you are if you have bought the season pass it's going to be really easy to do guys it's so simple so if you go over to your season pass as you can tell this first set of armor it's around about 52 which is not good they're the ones you're not going to want to get however at rank 37 as you can tell there are a total of 64 which is one of the highest you can get i do believe then it goes to 66 so all this armor that you get from the battle pass, the season pass, as you rank up is really high and it's what you're going to want to be using. However, don't collect it straight away because if you get to rank 100 before you collect it, usually not all the time, but sometimes they do actually increase in total. So it's up to you if you want to wait, but like I said, these are really good gear if you do have the battle pass. However, if you don't have the battle pass, I'm going to show you a way on how to actually get the same sort of armor with like 64 which is where i got these from so all you're going to want to do is simply head on over to destinations now it's going to be pretty much pinnacle gear guys anything for pinnacle gear will drop you high amount so if we go to the nightmare hunt complete a nightmare hunt on nightmare difficulty so if we go over on master difficulty sorry not nightmare 
master so it's going to be 980 so it is really hard to actually use but if you complete this and drop armor it does have a very good chance of being really high sometimes it comes in master work like mine did sometimes it doesn't but the total stats will have a lot and they will be in the 65 64s not only that guys if you do the pit of hearsay dungeon then you're also getting pinnacle gear which is another great way basically any pinnacle gear you're going to be getting good armor stats which will then increase obviously your playability and sort of how you play but the best way is iron banner now iron banner come out i think it was a few weeks ago however when it next comes out make sure you do iron banner if you're after that top armor so like i said that's pretty much it to get the best armor the best armor stats now all you're going to do is when you get your armor you simply make a build for you so for me like i said in the description and in the end screen will be the best hunter build in my opinion you can use that or you can create your own but make sure you're putting them mods on now if you don't have your mods on so like i have my mods on now so if i take this off guys then as you can tell the total power stat has dropped to 48 which is really bad now if you are looking to do a lot of damage and a good build i wouldn't recommend using this sort of armor but for me i prefer how it looks so that is why i do actually use this armor and that is why i will be using it that's pretty much it guys hopefully you have learned something new a lot of people were requesting this video hopefully i explained it well and straight to the point but if you are new around here make sure to subscribe because we are close to 20,000 subscribers and we're getting really close by the day and if this video could get 50 likes i would appreciate it a lot and as always guys i'll catch you in the next one Thank you.